Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, let's talk a little bit about the Microsoft Store and uh, we'll also talk about some of the stuff that you need to know and uh, that people actually maybe want to change. So we'll talk about some of the most asked um, features or changes to the app itself that people would like. So the Microsoft Store is uh, gone through several different versions and changes and Microsoft I think still is searching for a way to make this uh, app uh, something that people would really want to use and of course um, the um, Microsoft Store uh, promise was to you know make things a little more streamlined and easier to uh, to get apps and games and stuff and some people use it I use it a little because there are things that I do get from the store um, if it's in the store I will have a tendency to actually use it if not well you know I think a lot of us are still in the good old days of you click a file that downloads and then you install it uh, when you want to have some software now uh, the way it was rearranged is still I find it a little messy it's kind of a, a tough to find anything in the Microsoft Store. I think they, I think they still don't have the right way to do it. But then again, I was looking at the Android Google Play Store, and you know it's a big mess. Also, I don't see any clear pattern, uh, except that there's a little more details on you know the type of apps. For example, in the Android Store, it's easier to find. Oh, I want to have apps by this type of category or that category. Here it's not as clear as to how to do this and how to get categories and stuff. Uh, they do have on the left side a couple of things like you know apps um, for general apps and you got the top apps, essential apps. Then you got productivity and stuff like that. But you know still, um, it's like there's no clear. Um, I want to have all the apps that are this type of apps or that type or you know. They do have a separate place for gaming, which is nice, but it still merges all together. And what's interesting is that we see kind of a double uh, ear in the gaming. I have the Xbox app, which I go through to install some games because I got the uh, Game Pass. But then they also show up in the Microsoft Store, and it's kind of weird because it's like, well, am I getting it from the store or am I getting it from the Xbox app? Or it's not clear. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it needs, I think it still needs some work and some things to do uh, about it. But um, overall, you know, there's some apps in there that's not, when we look at the apps, so here you got VLC uh, that just showed up as a recommended app. Um, I think it's still not clear what's in here and what's not. One of the main complaints I would have and that I think they really need to brush up on this and clean up the experience too many wannabe apps. And what I mean by that is you'll have an app that's going to say, oh, this is the app for playing videos like you know, we just saw VLC. But there are kind of imitation apps that try to pass as VLC and that will make it to the store. And you're like, um, wait a minute, that's, that's, not, that's not a real thing. And it's not always easy for especially for you know inexperienced users to to see the difference between what's what's the real app and is that app the real app because some apps that show up here actually are not even the apps the official apps because they're not available through the store they're available only through the downloads through their website so i think there's a lot of work that still needs to be done into the microsoft store app to make it better um if they can at least clean it up real well. Um, the other thing also is the fact that they changed their minds on different things. Uh, you know, we used to have books and so much more, and uh, then they, you know, decide, well, no, we're not going to have that anymore. So, um, you know, whatever you purchase, well, they've been quite good on that. They've pretty much um, reimbursed people when they purchase stuff and they decide, well, this is not going to be here anymore. But definitely we do need um, a better Microsoft Store if Microsoft wants to succeed particularly in 
the uh, store itself and having us, you know, get apps because you it's not clear and, and like I said, you know, it's unless you search for an app specifically up here, um, you're not necessarily going to be directed towards a specific app in a specific place. So, um, you know, now we have the VLC media player. You see it, it's by video land. But, you know, you don't, it, that's the problem here is that, yeah, okay. But look, look, look at this thing here. VLC UWP. What's that? It has an orange cone. Why is this crap here? It just gives you an idea. Okay, the recommended one is the real one, but uh, maybe somebody will fall on VLC UWP and it's like, what's that? You know, and there's a lot of these examples in here that need to be removed, on, unfortunately. So that's the thing about the Microsoft Store, and you can't expect people to understand which one's the real, which one's not. You should not need to know the company that makes a software to install it and know you have the real deal. Uh, these are things that should not be. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.